fashion and fabric come in many forms. Of course, there's cotton, wool, silk. I know, useful, but then they are done that. Okay, I'm gonna channel my inner Heidi Klum and Tim Gunn. Where's the excitement? Where are the cold cuts? I mean, Lady Gaga once wore a meat dress. What happened to that? The truth is one historic runway fashion rule breaker was actually made of paper. Think fashion and your mind travels to the streets, the runway. It certainly doesn't make a B line or an A line for the paper plant. But back in the 60s, one paper company didn't roll like everyone else. These dresses were called paper dresses, but there were other sorts of fibers used. The first paper dresses were made out of cellulose, but they had an inner layer of rayon or nylon that was a webbing that kind of gave them some strength. To wear these fashions at the height of their popularity was to be hip and on trend. This is a classic A-line that you see yep, in a lot of dresses, and we even have aluminum. This is all paper. This is all paper. This hot craze lasted just two years, from 1966 to 1968. How did this whole thing start? The Scott Paper Company had a new line of paper products. The Toilet Paper Company? Yeah, the Toilet Paper Company, absolutely. Okay. They thought up this gimmick to help market the new line. People could send two proofs of purchase and $1.25 to get a paper dress. And you had two to choose from. The media and the public just loved them. Companies making very different types of products decided to write their own page in paper dress history. Where you find dresses with Green Giant, Campbell's Soup, Hallmark had already put out matching paper cups, napkins, plates, etc., as party wear. And there were hand painted paper dresses that were done by a New York designer that cost $1,000 a piece. So this promotion that the Scott Paper Company ran inadvertently started a trend. They were inadvertent fashion innovators. This clothing was inexpensive. You could adjust your hemline very easily. You just pull out a pair of scissors, trim it off. And also, if it ripped, you just had to repair it with tape. Where is the innovation in all of this, you ask? The technology also contributed to other utilitarian clothing products, including paper diapers, suits for astronauts, and for people who worked in nuclear power facilities. Paper dresses and their technology are just part of this spirit of experimentation that often leads to innovation. What happened to the trend? What had looked so hip and modern suddenly looked wasteful and frivolous. Mm. And the paper dress fad burned itself out. It did.